What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Fast X. That's right, Fast and Furious 10. A little unusual maybe for this channel, but I think it probably makes more sense to start to put these videos on this channel. So I want to talk about a rumor that came about yesterday really big blew up the internet in a sense at least in the fast and furious community both by people that like the movie and hate the movie and that gal gadot as giselle and that's her character name obviously in the fast and furious franchise is coming back in fast 10 and the rumor is she's at the very very end she's the last scene in the film it's just one scene and it's the last thing that you see and i guess there was a couple different test screenings that were done and one of them she wasn't in it and then the newest one she is. They're trying to test out to see if people like the fact that she's in it versus ending it not with her. Uh, but the idea would be to, you know, introduce her and then set her up, uh, obviously, for the final movie. We know Fast 10 is kind of a part one to a part two. I guess the next one will be called, I think, Fast 11, although I'm not actually a thousand percent sure. It could just be Fast 10 part one and then part two but that to me is very very exciting now i know the first thing people that are even moderately interested maybe in fast and furious not just there to diss it would say you know why in god's name or do we keep bringing these people back well i don't think you can bring back han in in fast nine if you don't then bring back giselle the next time and in fact that's something that i talked about on these channels back when uh fast nine was coming out that because han is back number one it just makes so much sense to bring gal gadot back to do it Yes, she suffered a pretty serious, I'd imagine, injury, what we all thought death at the end of uh, Fast 6. But the thing is, okay, that in Fast 9, so all the people saying, like, why do they keep bringing these characters back? Or, you know, death is not a real thing in Fast and Furious. I mean, maybe that second part is partially true, but they definitely hinted that this could happen. Mr. Nobody, right, played by Kurt Russell, had talked about in Fast 9 that Han, this magic trick that he had done with Han, to escape death and make him seem like he died he had talked about that it wasn't his only trick he's actually done things like that before and maybe even he's done it better before Han so I mean I personally think that he was talking about and, and honestly in terms of how the movies are written I do think that was referencing Giselle she was mentioned in the in, in Fast 9 uh, I think once or twice then you see one uh, image of her as well but I really think that one line and the idea of saving Han but then not just doing that but then also making it sound like hey we we could have potentially done this before or hey I've actually done something even more cool because for Giselle she would actually have been severely injured this actually brings up Hobbs and Shaw right I really think it connects to that with like the the biometric right? like basically enhancing her body I wouldn't be surprised if there's something like that now doesn't sound like it based off of the the rumor of her in Fast 10. I think it's literally just supposed to be her. I do wonder if eventually when it's kind of explained, you know, how in God's name she's still around, it's going to be brought up that she's, you know, more, she's obviously more human than like robot, but it goes down like the more Hobbs and Shaw angle that there was something kind of done to her body to keep basically keep her alive. Um, and honestly, it could even go into like more of like a super soldier thing. She could kind of be like pumped up for Fast 11. Uh, there's a lot they can do, but I honestly am all for it uh, for the fact that, you know, Han and Giselle are, uh, you know, one of the perfect movie couples uh, of the century of all time. But no, honestly, also because it, it's not all that crazy. I, I know the idea of like death isn't permanent. I'm actually one that does like things to be permanent. So if somebody dies, you know, if you bring them back, you do take away from that. And I do think Fast 6 is a, a phenomenal movie just in general. But also then when you take that part out of the ending, you know, does that hurt it? Perhaps. But I do think the, the groundwork specifically. So really, I think you'd have to start to blame Han's return as the issue you have to say well it's not really so much Giselle is you know bringing back Han is that the issue that you have to keep bringing back these characters and also kind of just sets it up for an entire family reunion right having Han having Giselle back you just have to bring back well Brian maybe in CG kind of form I'd imagine for like some uh final scene barbecue and then of course there's The Rock the man who won't do it um based off of their feud obviously with Vin Diesel right so we'll see if that actually ends up happening but let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you care and then also are you excited make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon turned on and i'll see you all on the next one